Use code MATCASTER for 5% off your order from Face to Face Games, Canada's largest Magic the Gathering store. Qualified orders get free shipping Canada wide. Use our code anytime you shop at Face to Face Games to support the show and get the cards you need at a discount. Welcome back, everyone, to another Magic the Gathering. Market Movers, today is December 27th, 2022. And before I jump into things here, as per usual, I wanted to go over the affiliate links in my description. I do have a Dragon Shield affiliate link, as well as a TCG Player affiliate link. And any purchase that you make using those links, I get a small bonus from it, and it really helps support the channel. Here are my lovely Patreon supporters. You guys are the reason why I can make content every single day, and it's all because of you, so thank you all very much. With that being said, let's get moving. Starting our looser section off here today with a retro frame artifact from the Brothers War, Mox Amber down 6.82% from $26.54 to $24.73 for its market price, and its average price is $28.63. The Immortal Sun from Rivals of Ixalan's artifact is down 6.99% from $27.04 to $25.15 for its market price, and its average price is $27. The next card on our loser section today is a card from Innistrad Parallel Lives. This card is down 7.03% from $44.26 to $41.15 for its market price, and its average price is $45.99. Next up is a Planeswalker from Dominaria, United Liliana of the Veil. Vale. This Mythic is down 7.08% from $21.33 to $19.82 for its market price, and its average price is $23.28. And we've got a Secret Layer Series card, Throw Teammate, which is also Fling. This card is down 7.18% from $17.14 to $15.91 for its market price, and its average price is $12.82. Fable of the Mirror Breaker from Kamigawa Nyan Dynasty. This card is down 7.36% from $16.72 to $15.49 for its market price, and its average price is $16.99. And our last loser of the day is another Secret Layer Series card, Mana Confluence. This card is down 7.40% from $27.04 to $25.04 for its market price, and its average price is $28.85. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest winners of the day, and we are going to start that list off here with... Hallowed Fountain from Return to Ravnica. The Shockland is up 11.70% from $9.32 to $10.41 for its market price, and its average price is $10.80, and this is still the cheapest version of this card. The most recent version of it was released in Unfinity as a borderless card, and that one is sitting at $39.47 for its market price, and its average price is $41.99. The most expensive version of this card is the Unfinity Galaxy Foil, currently sitting at $146.99 for its market price, and its average price is $162.16. This card is seeing a lot of play in the Pioneer format and Azorius Control decks, as well as modern decks like Hammer Time and 4-5 to five Color Omnath. The next winner on our list is Nicobolus Dragon God from War of the Spark. This Planeswalker is up 12.04% from $8.97 to $10.05 for its market price, and its average price is $9.99. The Secret Layer Series Stained Glass version of this Planeswalker is currently sitting at $13.26 for its market price, and its average price is $14.24. The War of the Spark Mythic Edition version of this card is the most expensive, currently sitting at $50.85 for its market price, and its average price is $54.99. Now this card is seeing a lot of Pioneer play Nykthos Ramp decks, as well as Grixis Midrange. The next winner on our list today is Underworld Breach, up yet again from Theros Beyond Death, 12.08% from $16.48 to $18.47 for its market price, and its average price is $19.78. The extended art version of this card from the Collector Booster Packs is currently sitting at $21.38 for its market price, and its average price is $28.98. This card is seeing a lot of play in the modern format and grinding station decks as well as Is It Prowess. It's also seeing vintage play though in Underworld Breach and also Jeskai Control decks. 
Next winner on our list is a rare from 5th Dawn, Mycosynth Golem, up 12.14% from $27.11 to $30.40 for its market price, and its average price is $41.99. There was a reprint on the list and that version of the card is sitting at $36.25 for its market price and its average price is $44.89. And this card is seeing a lot of play in the commander format in decks like Urza Chief Artificer, Liberator Urza's Battle Thopter, and also Urza Lord High Artificer decks. The next winner on our list is Murktide Region from Modern Horizons 2. This mythic is up 12.30% from $9.35 to $10.50 for its market price and its average price is $12.20. The showcase version of this card with a sketch style artwork is currently sitting at $9.35 for its market price, and its average price is $13.99. This card is seeing a ton of modern play in Merktide region decks, as well as legacy decks like Is It Delver, Death Shadow, vintage decks like Doomsday, and even commander decks like Yuriko, The Tiger's Shadow. The next winner on our list is a card from Magic 2012, Sundial of the Infinite. This card has been quietly going up since the beginning of December, and it's up 13.96% today from $7.45 to $8.49 for its market price, and its average price is $8.48. This card also had a reprint from the very first Mystery Boosters as a foil version, currently sitting at $8.86 for its market price, and its average price is $9.20. This card is seeing a ton of Commander play in decks like Obeka Brute Chronologist, which is also a card from Commander Legends. It's also seeing play in recent Commander decks like Mishra Tamer of Mokfawa, Mishra Eminent One, and also other decks like Cedrus the Traitor King. The next winner on our list today is Bolus' Citadel from War of the Spark. This rare is up 13.90% today from $7.48 to $8.52 for its market price, and its average price is $7.96. There was also a retro frame foil version of it released as a promo. That version of the card is currently sitting at $4.75 for its average price. And also the Secret Layer series version, which is also Post Malone's Secret Layer, called Post Citadel. That version of the card is sitting at $12.86 for its market price, and its average price is $12.48. This card is seeing a ton of vintage play right now, Blue Tinker decks as well as Paradoxical Outcome, and even Underworld Breach. However, it's also seeing Commander play in decks like Kirkstone of Yawgmoth and also Shieldred the Apocalypse. Our final winner of the day is Wedding Ring from Commander Innistrad Crimson Vow. This mythic is up 16.49% from $12.55 to $14.62 for its market price, and its average price is $12.99. The extended art version of this card from the Collector Packs is currently sitting at $11.95 for its market price, and its average price is $15.35. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest foil winners of the day, and we are going to start that list off here with... Fiend Slayer Paladin from Magic 2014. This foil is up 11.59% from $14.84 to $16.56 for its foil market price, and its average price is $9.52. Oyobi, who split the heavens from Betrayers of Kamigawa, this foil is up 13.86% from $12.99 to $14.79 for its foil market price, and its average price is $14.99. The next foil is Aquatex Will from Lorwyn, this foil is up 14.64% from $24.04 to $27.56 for its foil market price, and its average price is $14.99. Canoptex Spider, and this is the Surge Foil version of this card from Universes Beyond, Warhammer 40k, up 17% from $7 to $8.19 for its foil market price, and its average price is $36.95. Next foil is Spoils of the Vault from Mirden. This is the original version of this foil, up 21.99% from $6.82 to $8.32 for its foil market price, and its average price is $13.94. Jawari, the Earth of Flame from Saviors of Kamigawa. This foils up 23.63% today from $5.29 to $6.54 for its foil market price, and its average price is $4.53. Next foil on our list is Patron of the Orochi from Betrayers of Kamigawa. This foil is up 24.27% from $18.95 to $23.55 for its foil market price, and its average price is $23.80. Mog Alarm from Nemesis. This old frame foil is up 30.16% from $4.31 to $5.61 for its foil market price, and its average price is $4.50. 
Thank you all so much for taking time out of your day to watch my Magic the Gathering market movers. It really, really means a lot to me. And if you could, could you hit the like button so this video does get shared into YouTube's algorithm so I can continue to grow on this platform. Obviously, all the likes and comments that you guys have been leaving have really helped grow my channel, and I'm forever grateful for that. Also, let me know in the comment section below what was your favorite mover of the day, which cards were you most surprised to see on the list, and which cards you actually own that showed up on the list today. I do read every single comment that you guys leave, so please leave them there down below for me to read. Also, I make these videos from Monday to Friday, so I will be back again tomorrow for another Magic the Gathering Market Movers, and until then, please enjoy the rest of your day. Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.